Or damaged a plant that has been the focus of a News Channel 5 investigation. Employees at the Tenneco plant in Smithville were evacuated this morning when part of the plant's ventilation system caught fire. Investigative reporter Ben Hall discovered this has happened before. Oh man, it's getting worse. Witnesses shot video of the fire on their cell phones after workers were forced out of the plant. Employees say it was ignited by a spark from the welding operation and involved the ventilation system, which is designed to protect workers by collecting toxic dust. There's a deadly problem in the plant. Workers are being exposed to hexavalent chromium. But as we first reported, plant supervisors told workers this spring they had been exposed to cancer causing dust at the plant, and they may have been taking that dust home to their families. Company officials have vowed to spend millions of dollars to fix the ventilation system and make the plant safe. Part of that ventilation system involves a so-called bag house like this seen from Sky 5, where the toxic dust is collected. It's not the first time a bag house has caught on fire at the plant. Incident reports show a bag house caught on fire in 2016 because of incinerator overload. And in 2014, records show a welding booth caught on fire from sparks from a welding torch. I mean, it's everywhere in that factory. And I mean, I brush up against machines all night. And I mean, it, it gets on you. Welder Ryan Johnson says the work areas are covered in dust. It comes from welding the stainless steel, which are used in the car parts the plant produces. Company officials said despite problems with the ventilation system, the plant is safe because welders in affected areas now use respirators. Fire. But the overnight fire is just another problem for the plant and for employees who just want a safe place to work. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates. Employees were back on the job today. Plant officials did not return our request for comment.